Wait a minute. Should Christians listen to secular music? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Okay, let's jump into it. This has been a topic that has been requested many times on Instagram. So I was like, okay, let's jump into it. Let's figure this thing out. Let's talk about it. Should Christians listen to secular music? Now, in doing this video, I've watched a couple other YouTube videos of people covering this topic, their takes on it. And, you know, they usually start out with this verse. So I'm going to start out with this verse just so then we're all in the same playing field because I think it's a good place to start. But I think my take from here is going to be kind of different from what I've been seeing. In Philippians 4, 8, it says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Now you can see why that's such an important place to start in this kind of discussion because even before we should talk about, oh, should you listen to Christian versus secular music? What kind of music should you listen to? What kind of content should you consume? That's a good place to start because it's just like laying it out. Hey, if it is not pure, if it is not noble, if it's not worthy of praise, why are you consuming it as a Christian? And you know, we want to be filling our minds with things that are going to build us up, not tear us down, not give us skewed perspectives of the world. So I think it's important that, yeah, that's where we begin. So that's your first test. Put the music that you want to listen to up against this standard. If it can meet it, great. But let's continue this conversation of should you listen to secular versus Christian music I think there's something interesting. What is Christian music actually? Well, Christian music in my definition, and maybe you have a slightly different definition, but this is kind of what I thought of, music that talks about or mentions God in some way. That's usually kind of our definition of Christian music, but there's obviously exceptions. You think of Drake and God's plan. He talks about God in there. I don't know if you call that <laughs> Christian music. So there's exceptions and the, the line is kind of blurred. And this is part of the reason that I'm like, I, I'm not on the bandwagon of like, you can only listen to Christian music. Otherwise you're not a Christian because I think this line between Christian music and not Christian music is kind of arbitrary in a lot of ways. And I'm going to explain that a little bit more. You see, if Christian music is you're talking about and mentioning God in some way, are you allowed as a Christian to sing about other things other than God? Are you allowed to sing about um, heartbreak? Are you allowed to sing about the fact that you're happy or you're joyful or you're sad or whatever? Are you allowed to, you know, sing about the fact that you lost your job and you're, you know, having a hard time in life? Are you allowed to sing about your hopes for the future and what that might look like? I think so. I think that's totally acceptable. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think that gets the crux of the issue is that do you have to mention God in every piece of art that you put out there, whether it be a song or a movie or whatever it is, or an art painting, do you have to put, you know, either write God on your painting? Do you have to mention God in a song for it to be a Christian song for, for you to, as a Christian, to be faithful to God? Or can you let your worldview seep through any art and creativity that you do? You know, maybe you mention God, maybe you don't. But as Christians, we ought to let our worldview of, yes, we are saved by God. We are his. We are his children. We love him. And that influences every aspect of our life. And yes, that should influence our art. But that doesn't mean that we have to sing about him specifically mention God in every song. Yeah, we can sing about a whole bunch of things, but we got to be looking back. Yeah, does it meet that criteria, that that verse? And also that verse encapsulates a lot of what's in the Bible. So it's not about just like, oh, well, if it's not this one verse, it's about the whole, the whole Bible talks about this kind of issue of only consuming what is pure, what is, what is holy, fleeing that which is against God. So this is a consistent theme throughout the Bible. But back to our question of, Okay, should we listen to secular music? I think the answer is yes, but yes, but continue to weigh it up against the standard of the Bible, of God's standard of is this good for me to partake in? Is this good for me to 
um, enjoy to listen to because there's a lot of secular music that is not good that is actually trash okay it is absolute trash something that i've learned this is more personal to me i can be following maybe a secular artist that i just enjoy their music they talk about issues that I think are interesting. Maybe they don't have the same worldview as me, but the lyrics themselves are not bad and the music is fun. You can't get too attached to those artists because eventually, whether it be an album or a song, their worldview is going to seep through and yeah, it's going to suck. It's going to be really bad. And there's a couple artists there that I'm just like, oh, I love their music. It's awesome. And then all of a sudden their worldview slips through a little bit more, a little bit more clearly. And yeah, it's not a good song. And do I enjoy and, and listen to those songs? No, I don't. Because that's not, um, you know, true or noble or worthy of praise. I just, I'm not into that, right? But that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy just a regular fun song that is just, I'm talking about some topic that I think is interesting. I don't think God has to be mentioned in every piece of artwork you put out there, whether it be a song or a painting or a movie or whatever it is, because I think we as Christians can be more secure in the fact that, look, God's beauty can be seen throughout the whole world. That doesn't mean don't preach the gospel. That doesn't mean don't speak truth and love. That doesn't mean don't let your worldview seep through your art and creativity. No, do let that. Let, let your creativity be influenced by yeah, your love for God. And if that's the place you are where you just want to be like, I'm going to make a song just preaching, just preaching. And I just, that's what I want to do. Great. But if you just want to make a song, it's like, I just want to sing a song about, um, you know, the fact that I'm just really enjoying life right now. And if you want to write a song about that and you don't necessarily mention God by name, that's totally okay. Um, I think we kind of get a little bit off base when we start arguing in these these areas like oh well he didn't mention god here specifically or maybe he be might be hinting to god so as a christian music oh i kind of like it but is he a christian uh all this kind of thing you know what i think we can calm down a little bit and just enjoy art when it is beautiful when it is good when it is you know right and pure but and when it's not we can discard it um, these labels of secular music and Christian music, I think they can often give us a false sense, like maybe if we're listening to Christian music, that it's all good when it is not, or when it's secular music, like it's all bad when it is not. So I think we got to be more discerning than that. That's my take on it. I would love to hear your take on it as, as well. I know there's a lot of different opinions about this topic. That's my opinion. Um, and I believe it is founded in God's word and what he would have say to us. Um, but I'd like to know what you have to say as well. And um, let me know and give this video a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel because I put out new videos like this all the time. And I'll uh, see you next time. Bye, guys.